What's up everybody, DJ Anomaly here. So there's been a lot of questions about what I use and what settings I use as far as software. Um, pretty simple. I use Serato DJ as you can see on the screen right now. Um, it's the upgrade from Serato Intro that comes with the new Mark Mixtrack Pro and the new Mark Mixtrack Pro 2. Um, and I am sure there's a breakdown of exactly what's different between all of them, but I will say it's definitely worth the extra money if you can if you can scratch it together um, to go ahead and invest in getting the full Serato DJ. One of the big things that's included is the fact that you can record right in the program itself. Um, but let me bring up, uh, let me plug this in here. I'm using the mic on the laptop, so sorry if it's uh, really bad. I can't really check my levels on here. Um, so, Serato DJ, and let's check out. So, here's what I've got going on. Um, most of the stuff that I use is actually the default. I don't really change a lot of things, but one of the things that I do change is this little thing right here and that is the stop time um, that's under the DJ preferences in the first pane the reason why I change it a, just a little bit is because when I stop I want it to sound a little bit more like an actual record um, I learned on turntables I still use turntables I love turntables um, and so I love that feel so that helps it as far as start having it all the way to the fastest helps when you release the record for it to just start right up so that's what the pretty much I'm pretty sure the only thing I change on this first DJ preferences pane um, as far as recording I left it on 16 I could go 24 with it um, but it takes more space on the computer so and I'm just gonna upload it to YouTube anyway so everything else I just pretty much left it the way it is um, from there we go over to library and display this is what I have it on again I don't even know that I changed anything on here um, but you can mess around with it and see if it works better for your laptop or for your preference. Mixer, of course, I changed a few things here. Um, and most of the stuff I left default, but the things I did change was the crossfader. I probably should change the upfader too, but I mainly just scratch with the crossfader. So this is, sorry, my phone's going off over here. The crossfader, I have it on the fastest. Um, that way, when I'm scratching, then it's I don't have to move the crossfader so far over. Um, you can reverse it, you can disable it, whatever you want to do. Um, but that's one of the main things I changed there. Um, effects, I haven't done anything. I just have the, the standard effects. I might look into getting some more because I love messing with them around with those, but I'm pretty old school, so I don't use too much of that. Um, and then there's my buffer latency. I don't have it on uh, the lowest latency, but I also want to make sure that my computer load isn't too high. So this works for me. Maybe I should mess with it a little bit and see if it helps with everything. But yeah. That's pretty much it as far as my preferences. So you guys asked for it, and there it is. Um, the only other thing I would say is with Serato DJ, I love the fact that um, you can record your mix right here in the software itself. You don't have to run wires. You don't have to do anything separate. So that's one of the big things that I like. Um, the other thing is... Uh, you do have a lot of different effects that just come standard, and you can always get more if you like. Um, 
This combo fade echo is what I've been using lately and that people have been asking me about. Um, I like the fact that I just hit the button and it, it does what it needs to do. Uh, but I actually mix it a little bit with uh, this repeater uh, effects also. And so I'll turn this up to about maybe right about here. And it it does it like I'm flipping doubles and I'll go over a video on what that means exactly or you can look it up I'm sure there's already a video on YouTube flipping doubles um, but it's basically taking the same song going back and forth with the same part and so I'll turn this one on and then very quickly after hit this and it will give a nice little um, effect so when People ask what effect I use. Sometimes it's only this, sometimes it's this, sometimes I'll use a delay, but I don't use a lot of effects, so I pretty much just leave those ones on. Um, and then the last question that I get a lot of is, how do you get that, that voice with your DJ name on it? Well, like I've said in many other videos, it's simple. I just hit up a bunch of artists and I ask if they would do a drop for me. They're called a DJ drop and they just grabbed a microphone and recorded it and this is obviously my favorite one um, and so I have it and I use it all the time and then I just chopped it up and I use different parts of that same drop um, and so that's pretty much it if you guys have questions definitely feel free to hit me up I love answering them I've been in the game for at least 15 years at this point so Anything that I can do to help, let me know. And I've got a lot more videos on the way. But thanks for watching, guys.